Hi, a bunch of us have been following uh, Paul McWhorter's Python lessons on the YouTube. And um, uh, one of the things he encourages us to do is uh, put up uh, videos of our uh, homework solutions. And uh, I try to do that and um, everything. And a few people give me comments. And one of the comments come in and actually ask a question. I wonder if Paul presented a tutorial on creating the YouTube channel, if more people would share their homework solutions. So I got to thinking about that and I said, well, you know, Paul, he's got, he's told us he's got multiple monitors and uh, a lot of money tied up in his YouTube equipment and everything. And uh, so, you know, maybe he's not the one to tell us how to do it with a bottom end or low cost solution with just our one computer or laptop or whatever we have. So um, I thought, well, maybe I, maybe I could put together something. And then I got to thinking, you know, that, you know, when I do a video, my controls aren't showing uh, that I use because they're hidden on the video. I said, well, how could I show my controls? And I recently got a little mini computer that I'm actually doing my Python on. So I thought I could uh, uh, show you how I do it. I could use the virtual screen over there and I think it's gonna come through uh, and show you the controls as well. So I'm making a recording of how to do a recording. So <laughs> I might get mixed up which screen I'm on every once in a while. So uh, be aware of that. Anyhow, I use Zoom meetings just because everybody's had to learn how to use Zoom uh, even us old folks had to learn how to use Zoom over the last few years. So um, once I realized that, that, oh, I can use this for recording uh, movie files of, of my screen and my webcam, that, oh, this would probably be a good thing to use. I don't have to learn a new piece of software. There's lots of solutions out there everywhere from screen screen capture or of the on just on your PC or lots of uh, freeware and not so freeware out there that you can uh, get to do the same thing. But Zoom is pretty much free for what we're using it for. So I uh, figured I'd show you how I do that. And also show in case it, it's a little bit of a learning curve showing how to get uh, started on YouTube as well. There's lots of videos to do that, but I can, run through the whole process that I use. So I figured that'd be a good thing to do. Um, like I said, um, I'll be doing this with uh, uh, my, uh, using our Chrome remote desktop from my little mini computer. So I'm gonna switch over to that screen now. So I can't, usually you can make this screen full, full screen, but I'm not gonna do that for this one because uh, the, I'll have two recording sessions going and uh, the, the uh, ribbon bars hide each other. So I'm gonna have to use it the way it is just in the frame here. So basically, uh, like I said, I don't know, a lot of times if you're just getting on Zoom calls, maybe you're uh, just clicking a link. So you haven't actually downloaded any software or anything on your own machine. You you know, you can click a link and sometimes get on. I know when I did that, the Zoom encouraged me to download their uh, app or application program or whatever. And I did that. I don't think that was necessary, but I did that. So, but you will need to do that if you want to make these videos. If you've uh, had to initiate, um, uh, Zoom calls, you know, if you've been the one setting them up, then you probably already have this, but we can show you. I Googled Zoom and we'll go in there. Basically, if you're, if you're um, brand new to it, you can sign up. If you have a Google uh, Zoom account, you can sign in. But the software you need is actually this download Zoom client. 
So click on that. And I have already got it downloaded. Whoops, I've already got it downloaded, so I'm not going to download. But you just download it. It's going to come down here as a clickable. You click it, and it'll install and just go through the normal process of installing. It's real simple and not a big download. It goes in. So, uh, so once you get all that done, you'll have a, a, a client to you. So, you know, you'll have it to you. So uh, most times I just find my programs, my application by just typing something down here and you'll find something like Zoom app or something like that will come out. Uh, you can, however you normally find programs on your thing. And if you click on it, you, end, you should get a screen. It looks exactly like this. And for doing this, we're actually only using, we're not actually Zooming with other people. We're just uh, using it as a one person Zoom. And it's kind of cool that they let you do that. So basically once you get to here, you're going to, say new meeting and it's going to bring you up got my face here and uh turn my video off for a second and uh so you probably want to test your speakers and your microphone do all that stuff so So I got same as system over there. So I wasn't sure that was going to work with that. So we got that. Um, let me see what we're going to do for a microphone. We have a, I have a webcam, so that's what we're doing. Now I got the webcam working. Cam, so that's what we're doing. Okay. Now I got the webcam working. Okay, so you might have to figure out which which audio you're on and everything. So, uh, okay, so you might have to figure out which, which, sorry about that. Okay, so you might have to figure out which, which audio you're, okay, <laughs> enough of that. All right, so then you're just going to join with computer audio. Like I said, um, you can either do it with or without the uh, video. But basically, what we're doing is we're sharing our screen. So you just want to click on the share screen button. And you want the one that says screen, you can do individual uh, things, but we just want the whole thing. So you just, that's the default when it comes up and you just hit share. And you'll see, like I said, all we're doing our remote part is from just this thing here. This is my computer I'm recording on. So I don't have to worry about that, but it puts this green bar around everything, box around everything that you're on. Uh, we've already finished with this, so we can minimize that. You don't want to close it because I think it closes Zoom, but you want to minimize it, get it out of your way. And um, like I said, at this point, you're not recording anything. And uh, so, but uh, you end up with this, uh, like I say, ribbon bar up here. And uh, sometimes you have to be careful if you want to deal with some of the tabs like on this or something or some things that you get on the very top it can get in the way uh because there's once it opens it'll close eventually but sometimes it's quick sometimes it's slow closing but you can actually sneak up and change them if you want to but uh that's one thing that you know every once in a while you'll see me pause on a video it's because my uh, ribbon bar bounced down and i gotta wait for it to close before i can continue on so anyhow, that's uh, that got that done. So, but what we're doing for saving our videos, you want to record it. So you open this up and go all the way over here to more, click on that and we have the record button. And uh, we're gonna record uh, a short video and show you how to upload it to uh, YouTube. So uh, we'll get that going. Recording in progress. And you hear the recording in progress button. And we are recording now. So you can uh, switch between apps. You can uh, bring up bring up your um, Visual Code Studio and 
do the do whatever you normally do on a computer and uh, you can also go up here and if you want your video you can share a little video and video comes up here in the corner and uh, depending on what size if you want to show something off or whatever you just want your face you can always uh well there we go oh. might not be able to do it so well here but you, there you go you can oh <laughs> if you get the very corner you can there you go make it bigger so you can make it whatever size you want drag it and you can put it on different whoops <laughs> put it on wherever you want it on the screen get it out of the way unless i got something to show people don't need to see my face so i usually leave it off Anyhow, so that's how you do it. And you can, like I say, we can do that. And uh, when you're ready to stop sharing, I mean, stop the video, you go back up here to your ribbon bar, go to more and stop recording, not pause. You want stop recording. Recording stopped. And it stops. And then what you'll do is you, like you say, it made the recording in the background and it will, it, to get the recording, you got to stop your stream now. So you're going to stop share. You're gonna end the meeting, end the meeting for all. And uh, it'll come up with this uh, little bar where it says it's converting your meeting. I think this does this in the cloud. I think if you pay for a, uh, for a Zoom account, it does it on your computer. But if you just have the free account, it does it in the cloud. Uh, our church has a paid account and sometimes we use it for that and the conversions are a lot faster, especially if you got long videos. Uh, the longer the video, the longer that takes. Uh, and then after it's done, you'll end up with, bring up a, a file explorer with where your video is. Um, on older versions of the Zoom, uh, thing that we have you come up with it comes up with this and the video is called video underscore zero or something or zero one or something like that and uh uh i think it's zero is what it comes up with uh i just downloaded this version for this uh, new computer this morning and it brings up a different file name but it's the same thing you're basically you're um uh you're in zoom where I think it's under documents, Zoom. And then I did one this earlier and it has, it's by your date. So this is the one that we're looking at. So, um, so you're clicking on that folder and it has, not sure what the config file does, but you have an audio version and you also have a video version with the audio included. So, if you want to check out your video, you probably should before you upload it to YouTube. You can just click on it and it'll come up and play in whatever your video player is. We have a recording in progress button and we are recording now. So you can uh, switch between apps. You can uh, bring up your uh, Visual Code Studio. And so I'm not really worried about the content on this one, so I won't bore you for listening through it again. So once you got that, you'll want to remember where that is. And then at that point, um, you might as well close out everything, close out your YouTube, your uh, Zoom. And uh, at that point, you go to your YouTube. And uh, I just, this is my YouTube account, and I just, happen to have it on Paul's homepage here. But uh, when you wanna upload files, anybody that's already signed into YouTube can do this, but when you wanna upload files, you go up here to whatever icon you had or whatever uh, little, if it's a letter or whatever you'll have, you just click on that and it gives you your, you know, your username and everything. But what you wanna do to upload files is go to YouTube Studio and you'll just click on that and change over to 
YouTube studio. Usually not this slow. I'm not sure why it's <laughs> probably because I'm doing two things at once. It's probably doing the Zoom as well as doing this. So this might end up being longer time. So when it comes up, your first thing you'll be is on your dashboard. And when you're on the dashboard tab, the tabs are over here on the side on this one, you'll have an upload button. First time I did it, I said, how do I upload videos? And <laughs> finally I saw, saw this little button up here. And, uh, uh, but there's also where it says create, I guess that would have been the one to look for. And um, if you're on one of your other tabs down here, your create will still be there, but you'll lose your upload button. And the upload button is just on the dashboard, but you can, you can do it from anywhere. You go to create and then upload videos. So once you do that, then you select the file just like you would, goes in and uh, we'll be looking in documents, Zoom. Uh, that's what I say, you gotta remember where, where you put, where, where the last ones were and everything. So this is the video we wanna upload. So being on Zoom, I don't know how long this is gonna take, but hopefully not too long. You got your status down here. So you'll have, you have a list of things you have to do here after uploading. And you see this SD, that's your standard duty and uh, it uploads it, then it processes it, make sure there's no uh, copyright infringements and all that stuff. So um, hopefully this doesn't take too long. Um, while you're waiting for that, you can uh, re get yourself a title here. So I'm going to call this demo uh, Zoom recording. Uh oh. All right. And you can put a description here. And uh, after I finish the, this main video that I'm doing, I'll give this thing a name. I'll, I'll come back and link to it, but you can put, uh, I'm just gonna remind myself. You can put whatever description you want. You can put link, you know, links in there and everything. So looks like the, the regular one got posted so that's good uh, it's still working on the hd one down here you'll see so you'll want to pick a thumbnail it kind of gives you like three thumbnails out of your uh, uh lists so you can also upload something else if you want to if you have something that you want to use as your thumbnail when people are on your site or something but uh i think i'll just go with this one here since it's got the word zoom in it so we'll know that doesn't really matter what you put there. And then you got your audience thing here. Um, I just put mine no for kids and, um, and you know, nothing age restriction or anything, but you'll have to go down and pick them. You'll probably want to say no for kids unless you're making a kid video because then you got other stuff you got to do if you say it's for kids. So once you once you got it looks like we're all done now because nothing's blinking now no issues found check complete you go through here and if you wanted to add screens at the end or whatever you want to add to it that's that's for the professionals we don't usually I don't <laughs> I just click through this and it says no issues found for copyright so we're good to go there and then you do want to make sure um, that you got settings down here on, on your YouTube studio where you can set your preferences for way it comes up because the first time through it'll be private. You'll, it'll say private. So you want to make sure that you set it to be public and uh, probably don't want to do a premiere unless you're a professional. So, and then basically that's all you're doing. And then uh, you're, got through this far, you just hit publish and then it'll come up 
and you'll actually get a link that you can use like for us for us when uh when i do this i usually copy the link and then go right to the video paul's video that i'm doing the homework for and uh put a comment in and now uh, you got the link uh already copied so you don't have to worry about it um i'm not going to do it at this point but uh, otherwise you just close this so and we're done and it'll show up on you your content so it's some new content that we got and again a lot of times you'll want to check it so when you hover over it you get the choice to view it on youtube that's how i usually check it if you click on this it'll go back to uh where you can edit the uh well i'll just click on it you can go back and put put change your description or whatever and change this you know some of the description and stuff so we don't want to do that so i'm going to go back to content and basically that's it and you should be ready to go so um um at this point you know like i said you you uh just have to uh uh you know make sure that people can see what you're doing so if you're doing paul's videos just put a link on uh in the comments of his and he'll get around to uh approving your uh comment and then people will be able to see it anyhow so now my job i showed you how to do it so my job now is going to be to save this stop this video and uh get it uploaded to youtube and uh, uh i'll post a link to it just like i'm i was saying i'll probably put it on my site and probably Paul's site as well. All right. Thanks for listening.